What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it's 50 cents a day. Also, don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials and pick up the Buy Sounds tab. I just, or I, I just want to check, I just want to show you guys something right here. Um, <clears throat> just something I've been doing and I'm going to continue to do, um, I don't know, until I get tired of it. But recently, I have been in the Buy Sounds tab, I've been dropping these fire um, little mini sample packs. These are uh, SoundCloud Volume One. That's in the style of everything that's on SoundCloud right now. Ski Mask Volume Five. You know that's the you know that's my more grimy gutter type of style. Dude, four ninety nine for ten loops. Um, go pick them up, man. They're awesome. So today we're gonna go into um, just kind of. I've, I've been working with the MPC live for the past week. You know, really trying to nail down the workflow. Um, and and the way that I'm using it. Full disclosure, so you guys don't fucking hit my comments up with your ridiculous suggestions to use the software okay if you got an mpc you already know the mpc software is basura bro that's trash in spanish um we don't want to use that the whole reason why i got an mpc is because i want to clip the outputs man that's what i'm using it for the drums sound different don't at me all right so for you guys that are interested in that for you guys that have the ear to hear that dude you already know unless you have Ableton Live and you're using the live link, the sync on um, syncing up with the with your DAW, it's it, it takes a couple steps, right? Um, shout outs to all the people who have, who have made videos about that um, because because those videos helped me make this one. Shout out to Mark for to Marcus Huskins for helping me out with the frame rate is issue. Um, let me just take you through what you need. So first things first is MPC Live and MPC X do not allow you to send and receive MIDI via USB in standalone mode. I don't know why. So in order to use MPC in standalone mode and sync it to your DAW, you have to get um, an external um, USB to MIDI converter, right? So this is the one I got. It's at Guitar Center. You can find this everywhere. It's like 30, 40 bucks. No big deal. I just wanted to show you guys that. So you're gonna plug, you're gonna plug this into your into the USB, or you're gonna plug this into the USB of your computer, and then you're gonna plug these into the five pin ports on your MPC Live. Boom. So once you have that, you have to make you have to make a couple um, change. You have to do a couple things inside studio one so the first thing you need to do is you need to uh, you need to pull up <clears throat> your preferences you need to go to external devices and you need to go to add and make yourself a new instrument then what you want to do is you want to send and receive from the Mio this is or, or whatever um, whatever five pin like if you have a if you have an interface that has five pin ins and out and you can use that you don't need one of these but you have to the point is you need five pin midi in and out right so you go ahead and put that and then you want to make sure that you put um just enable um shoot let me see how i have mine yep 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 you're gonna want to follow these settings just send midi time code that's it that's it all midi channels send midi time code all right, and then once you have this set up and, and you're plugged in, boom, you're good. You don't have to do anything else. Now, on the on the MPC side of things, you need to go to the main screen. I'm sorry, you need to hit menu, and then you wanna hit this little gear icon right up here. This is, this is your preferences. And then you want to go into the sync menu. It's gonna start on info, go to sync, right? Now, this receive isn't going to be selected so you're going to want to you're going to want to select midi time code just like um, just like you have it in your um in your instrument preferences right here then you want to set you want to set your send also to midi time code and then you want to make sure that receive mmc is clicked in right now here's the Here's the part that was messing me up. If you look, if you look right here, where it says MTC frame rate, um, if you're like, dude, we use VSTs right now, so we're not, you know, we're not really um, familiar with the ins and outs of MIDI. But the frame rate 
inside Studio One and and the default inside the Akai MPC Live and MPC X, they're different frame rates. And what that will do is that will cause um that will cause like a really undesirable jitter in between in between your notes and what happens is the the notes don't hit on the um you know your samples don't hit where they're supposed to on the timeline so in order to fix that you need to go into your first of all just keep this at the default keep this at at 30 drop okay and then you need to go into your settings right and this is this is what completely saved the day you need to go into your settings and you want to go into whatever preferences just go to song setup it'll bring you to this menu you want to go to general what this what this normally starts at is 25 fps right so we are at 30 drop frames per second so you don't want to pick 30 frames per second you want to put 30 drop frames per second set that up press ok now when you go ahead when you go ahead and you press play on your um like on your fader port or if you or if you click it in here hey hey so that's great um but let's see what happens when we go to record it because because all of this syncing is for the purpose of tracking it in right so when i press record on this audio channel Okay, so off rip, you could see that you could see that it starts late, right? And that you know that'll after figuring all this out, that'll you know that'll throw you up against the wall. Maybe you know maybe you're like me and you're just like ah you know what it, it doesn't matter. I'll just trim it whatever. But you know ideally you want to be a little bit more consistent and you want to get rid of this offset and that's what this is. This is an offset, right? So if you know if you know the vocabulary, you know what to look for in the settings. So what all you got to do is and this is where a lot of people stop, right? But you just go to the beginning of where this sound is, right? And click your cursor in. Let's say right here. And then you'll see you want to change you you want to change your your time base from seconds to samples and then and then look at this number 4272 so now we're going to go back to preferences because what we need to do is we need to offset this we go back to preferences uh, you want to go to audio and then you see where this says record offset right here see how it's in samples boom now all you got to do is go in here click this in we'll do 42 and the reason why you the reason why they use samples is because samples is is the is the most exact um the exact measurement on on the timeline right so 4270 i think the it was actually 4273 so we'll go ahead and apply that and this is what just made me so happy so let's delete this and check this out Oops, <laughs> my bad. You want to make sure that you do negative <laughs> so it pulls to the left and it doesn't push right. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> All right, so check it out. My bad, dog. Look at it. It is beautiful. Let's listen to it. So you see perfect loop. <clears throat> perfect loop um no pops or clicks you are you know you're on the grid you still got that you still got the the perfect npc um you know uh, natural offset that it has the whole reason why we use these things um you know the you know it looks like it's on the grid but it's just a little bit for that's a little bit forward and that's the saucy mcsaustine so yeah guys um you know and now you can go in and you know set your six outputs and and track out um and track out, you know, all six.
you know track out your whole drum kit in one pass or six by six so it doesn't you know so it doesn't take a while um because i do a lot of streaming i just have it set up to do to do each track you know that way we can keep it moving but once you have once you have this set up you know you're you know you're golden you could go ahead and use the mpc in standalone mode and you will be you will be all set man so um i appreciate you guys watching uh hopefully hopefully this struggle is put to an end this is cmp with craftmaster production studio one tutorials.com don't forget to stop by studio one tutorials click the buy sounds tab seriously j drop 4.99 on one of those packs they are gas keep it simple but do not be basic and we will see you on the next one